about the next week or so, they'll be posted up at the Romo Fijo. Uh, tonight, they're taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Alonzo Mourning and the Charlotte Hornets. Alonzo. Didn't he play for them? Yeah, he was drafted by them. Uh, oh. They he, he hit the game-winning shot the first uh, playoff series they ever won. Oh. I was watching that game. I was I was a Hornets fan. Were you for a little too. while? Yeah, was, I, I mean, I liked every team. I love basketball so much when I was uh, like 10, 11 years old that I watched every single game that I could. Sure. So, But I liked their colors. Okay. We had, uh, who was the guy that we had that was, um, well, he's here for a cup of coffee. It's a deep dive. Um, Del Curry? No, uh, Baron, Davis. Baron Davis. Remember we had oh, Baron yeah, Davis yeah, yeah. on the Cavaliers? <laughs> Yeah, he was like with, two weeks. He was with the Hornets. The Hornets, but he was with the Hornets when they were in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Hornets, Cavs tonight, seven thirty here on MMS. Uh, so seven o'clock is when pregame will begin. Uh, yeah. Rex Chapman. Yep. He's a he's a funny dude on Twitter. For however long that's still going to be around, right. Rex Chapman plays or played for the Hornets. Um, comedian Chad Daniels is going to be in here later on about an hour from now. He and Bill are doing some shows this weekend uh, around the corner at Hilarities. So we'll catch up with him. I'll have the last um, trip for you to go to our Alter Ego Festival, which is January the 14th out in L.A. at the Kia Forum with the Chili Peppers and Muse and Jack White. And um, Fall Out Boy and many others. Sold out show. Mid-January, get you to L.A. for a couple days. You and a friend give you some money to spend. So 510 is going to be that last trip uh, to L.A. And then you got a handful of chances to grab a 1000 bucks. Next one here is in uh, a few minutes. 6.30 before we get out of here, is, or right after we get out of here, is going to be the last uh, keyword for you to go fund yourself and grab a 1000 bucks. So be listening for those. Alan, I just can't believe the audacity of the last caller to try to talk off baseball, but poop on soccer when, uh, sir, a baseball game can last five hours, like the one I went to this past postseason, and they can score one run. One. And you still find that exciting? Freaking dingus. <laughs> Dingus. Yeah, you got with that friggin' dingus right there. Friggin' dingus. Uh, write him up. Well, somebody texted me in the break. They said, soccer is super fun to play, not so much to watch. And I said, that might be the perfect encapsulation of it for me. Really fun to play, not so fun to watch. I- I'm sorry, I meant I love it and I can't oh, wait. This for has been go. the Alan Cox Show pandering to soccer fans. Uh, yeah, listen, listen baseball is an while, American yeah. pastime. Yeah. yeah, if you're trying to pass time, you're trying to drink. <laughs> and the beauty of the World Cup is you go, oh, this game's really important, and it's at, you know, 2 p.m. on a Monday. <laughs> Start drinking at 2 p.m. on a Monday. Yeah. What better way to pass the time mm-hmm. than that? Um, I mean, people in a different time zone might start drinking at 2 p.m. because – for us, it'll be a little bit after six and the Bill Squire Friday get down. Boy, I really threw my shoulder out on that stretch, didn't I? Mm-hmm. But anyway, be around these parts, that. I think. Make sure you stretch. Around these parts, uh, that's how we start the weekend. But um, somebody texted me. We were talking about Phoenix in the last segment. Somebody texted me. That there's a big BDSM community out there. Oh. I'm like, yeah, those are all over the place. I mean, the fact that you're hot and sweaty all the time. Probably, and again, I stand by it. Phoenix is where a lot of people go, and they can't hack it in L.A. So, yeah, there are good-looking people out there. Uh, but when it's 120 degrees, yeah, uh, when you're basting in your own juices all day long, that's probably going to make it uh, all the more attractive uh, to get some upside-down pineapples into the mix. Mm. Mm. Um, is Pound Cake taking a call? No, you're just sitting he, there. Oh, he's no, just I'm sitting there. Now. Oh, okay, because Caleb and Kent left a message on the After Hours line. Hey, Alan, Caleb and Kent listened on a podcast from a couple of days ago. Uh, but Cody got super butthurt over the way you were talking or your tone about Whitney Houston. Uh, I will offer him up a statement that we use at work when people get all butthurt or something stupid. 
Uh, the facts don't change despite your ability to accept them. I'll leave you with that. Love you, bye. Hmm. Well, listen, also, I don't... Um... Post, uh, free fly for a white guy by offspring. <laughs> I wasn't even uh, butt hurt because you said Whitney Houston had an addiction problem. Everyone knows she had an addiction problem. My thing is, you you do it for her, but not for other people. If it doesn't other your, people aren't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but there are people that are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that you don't do it to because they're rock and roll artists. So it's okay if she does crack and dies, but if someone else does it, it's rock. Listen, and roll. I don't want anyone to get do crack and die. My point is, I can think of a few people. I she's would like to do well. That. I can think of one. Um, she squandered uh, her abilities ultimately, but if somebody does crack and dies, and they were in a rock band, <laughs> they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Did my grandma did crack? Your that's, grandma did crack. <laughs> that's what killed her. She's ninety-four years old. It's not a bad way to go. She smoke a little crack, takes her out. Yeah, do you pass out? Like, what is? I've never done know. cocaine, so I know it's. The I don't same know how. Thing. I don't know. I, it's probably gonna hit a ninety-four-year-old a little different. You know, she's not in the best health. So, but if <laughs> just be a, like, oh, what happened to Grandma? Yeah, she got into crack <laughs> at ninety-four. Ninety-four. She had done Where'd everything she else. Get it? I mean, her <laughs> friends were all. It's not hard to get. Her friends were all dead, and she thought, I'll try some crack. There have to be old people who, at the very end of like, I'll just try everything I never tried. Why not? And if it kills me, yeah. I had a good run. Most people don't even naturally live to their mid-90s. I'll go do some crack. You know, Tom Papa back in the day had this great bit about old people should be getting tattoos, not young people. He's like, young people, you've got this new skin, and it looks great. And mm -hmm. it's like when you're old is when you should be getting, you know, you got varicose veins, just tattoo some monkeys on and make them look like vines. <laughs> That's what you should be doing. I think Not I got, ruining your young, perfect skin. Yeah, I think I learned my lesson about the whole tattoos. I think I had to get a tattoo to realize how, like, unnecessary it is. So I'll advocate. But you got others. more than one. Well, the, my, the one on my back, I don't mind. The one on my arm. Did you never see it? Um, but like, I don't dislike it. Like, I it's a cross. It's, it says patience on it. Um, it doesn't help with the whole trying to be masculine thing. Like, I should have thought about that. I'm like, oh, I'm sure there's plenty of straight men walking around with crosses on their back that says patience over it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's some. And there's plenty. Some thug out there that's like, yeah, patience. I almost said, the, I almost said the n word, but like, <laughs> I had to stop myself. But I'm like, I'm sure there's somewhere what? out there. Neighbors. Uh, yes. Why did you get? Patience, because like you're not that it someone was a, like when it comes to people that I think of. As it was being, aspirational. That's what patience, I'm saying. It's a, it's a virtue yeah. that I want to uh, someday acquire. Yes, yes, I, it's a virtue I would like. Have to you ever acquire. done anything to work on it? Yes, I'm patient on this show every goddamn day. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I am. Y'all, y'all be testing my patience every day. Wow, but, every okay. single day. Every but, day we're testing him. But it was all of my tattoos I got. With my mom and my brother, my and everyone was getting like a virtue that they liked. My brother got faith, um, to keep the faith, and my mom got hope, and then mine was patience. So she should have the PE lasered off. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he had to wow. like he was I, he was he was doing the verbal equivalent of counting on his fingers with yeah. that you could one. Just say get rid of the P. Oh, I, I think <laughs> H.O. is funnier yeah. than H.O.E. <laughs> They're both funny, all right? Yeah, you got one, spot. I got one. All right. Alan, <laughs> a crack overdose is painful and awful, not a good way to go. It's not a good feeling buzz at that point. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's going to be that big of an overdose for a 94-year-old. I don't think A little goes yeah. a long way, probably. I think it's going to be a them. pretty good feeling, and, you know, it'll probably take her out. Let me give you this money. It's one thousand dollars. A chance to go fund yourself. Listen closely, and good luck. The buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score one thousand dollars. Enter the nationwide keyword "check" at wmms.com. That's "check." Enter it now at wmms.com, and good luck from Buzzard Radio. So yeah, I mean, if somebody is currently patient. They probably don't have to get a tattoo to remind him of that. Correct. This was aspirational for him. And when I look in the mirror, it says, Sin Pepin. 
<laughs> zero point zero. You should have had it tattooed like an ambulance on the, on the you know, backwards yeah. so you could look in the mirror and it would yeah. tell you to be patient. Uh, yeah, no. It, it, again, these hey, I wanted something. This is how, this is why I push people and not not push people, but I I suggest to people live their true selves as early as possible because Yeah, had, why waste time? Had I been myself I, not to say I wouldn't have tattoos, but they'd be different. <laughs> they'd be different. And it's a permanent reminder of, remember when you weren't yourself? Remember when you weren't yourself? And you ended up with these things? Be yourself. So that is so that's what one. would you have gotten? I don't know. I, I probably see. I just like, not that. I like the idea of a tattoo, but at the time I was very um conceited and narcissistic and all about myself. At the time. <laughs> The time. <laughs> so much so that I wanted my initials with a crown over it. Yeah. Uh, um, and you thought a, you were a king. He was a young king. He was a young king. And I and I now I think I'm like, oh God, thank God I didn't get my own curse of writing to do my my own initials. Um, but it yeah, I just I don't know what I would have gotten. I, I still think that I want a cover up of this. If it's okay with like my doctor and my dermatologist. I would like to just get this covered up or make it like a stained glass window and just get like other things in there and I'm ready to do it when you are and get a sleeve. <laughs> I've been practicing. I'll do a good job. I got a new skinny arm. I got lots of skin to write on now. So let's do it. I'll let Bill do it. Let him do your tattoos. Do a nice cover up for you. No. Mm-hmm. Alan, I'm a cop, and I was. we got a call to check on a vacant house. And I walk in, and there's a chick hitting the crack pipe, and another chick is finger blasting her. <laughs> what? <laughs> in the va- so what do you do, roust him out or let him finish? Get out of there. Man. <laughs> um, officer, I'm going to see your body cam. <laughs> is there any way to slow-mo this yeah. or, oh, boy. I'm sure they're not the... Body cam cops? No, the, the, the kind of girls you want to see. Oh, no, 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 no. It never is. But still, a lot of curiosity. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies, please, uh, let's get, you know, you're probably, they're out of it, and they're just mm-hmm. trying to have some fun. And so he's probably like, uh, yeah. come on, ladies, please. You know what they you say? Gotta, girls just want to have fun. <laughs> girls, you got to get out of here. Put down the pipe, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just trying to have good time. Well, I don't know. So if you had had more moxie back then, if you had uh, known to get a like a butcher tattoo, what would the word on the cross have been? I don't know if, if I would have gotten a butch. Word. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> you if imagine I, if he got a giant. Well, he was trying cross. to act butch. Back That's what then. I'm saying. Yeah. Like what? what I don't you know. know if I would have gotten a word. It's not mm. on the cross. It's above the cross. Oh. Um, and I don't know if I would have gotten a word. I probably would have just gotten a cross because a cross. It comes in very different styles and colors. Like there are some really good looking crosses. They, some of them have intricate detail, um, and you know they make it look all uh, I don't know, like yeah, it's very ornate. Like it's yeah. very, a very like photorealistic kind of. Yeah. yeah, and and you know Italians get it. Like depending on what what your ethnicity is and what your religion is, you can get like one based on like what you feel. But mine was just get a cross. Cross some easy fits into every mold, and then get patience. Hmm. I don't. I don't know what I would have gotten honestly. I don't know. And all of my tattoos were under the age of eighteen. So some people sign contracts under eighteen and become like a pop superstar, and then you know, fame destroys their life. Mine was I just get tattoos for life that I can't get out of. There was a dude I was reading about in South Carolina who had to plead guilty to tattooing a minor inside of a McDonald's. Inside of a McDonald's. Yeah, they don't know if the guy was working there or what, but there were people complaining because the drive through line wasn't working and so or, or wasn't moving along. It was like there were people sitting in the drive through line, and so somebody peered in, and they see this dude tattooing a kid <laughs> and uh, tattooing without a license. And so he's uh, going to go to jail for a little while. Somebody filmed it, of course. And they sent it to the cops. Now, a minor could be 17 and a half years old. You know, it doesn't mean he was tattooing an eight-year-old kid. But because it's a minor, they don't really give a lot of details on how old the kid was. You could say he got a McTat. You know what I mean? I get it. McTat.
you could say he got a big tap. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of stuff in Lawrence County, but as far as that, shock. It's ridiculous. For hey, I don't know what these mumble mouths are saying, but that's the story down there in South Carolina. As there was a dude who was tattooing a kid, mm. and he's getting tra- his arm down there. So who knows? Maybe that kid was getting across. It says patience. Can have patience. So this McDonald's worker can finish tattooing my arm without a license. Oh, boy. We're going to take a break here. If you want to text for anything, 35192 to do that. You can listen and leave messages on the iHeartRadio app. And we'll be back after these. The Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. The menu is a deliciously twisted thriller. What the hell is going on? 